Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, going to run down the rest of this riprap bank, just tossing this whopper plopper. Just trying to get one more explosion before we leave here. Oop. <laughs> Looks like it's actually pretty far down from the last time we were here. I think the water's come down actually pretty far since we've been here last time. Anyway, we're just going to push off and go that way. All I know is the creek is that way. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take us, but... I'm out here today with my brother at this small little lake. Some of you may recognize it. I won't say the name of it quite yet. I might later, I don't know. Might decide different, but for right now, I'm gonna not say the name of it, just so I don't put any more pressure on it. Especially if I do really good here today. This place has quite a bit of pressure actually, especially for how small it is, but I'm gonna try to get on some good ones here today. I know there's some that live in here. I've actually been here recently with my brother fishing from the bank. We've caught quite a few small fish, but I saw the other day on Facebook, it just came across my feed randomly actually, I wasn't even looking for it or anything, but somebody had caught a big old fish out of here, it looked to be about seven or eight pounds. They didn't say the weight or anything, but they had a picture and it was a big, big bass. So that's what I'm out here looking for today, I'm trying to find me one of them big girls I know lives in here. So I'm starting out throwing this big glide bait trying to at least draw some fish and get a look at them. Haven't seen any quite yet, but I have a feeling that's gonna change here pretty quick. Is that huh I'm not sure what that was it was a big fish of some sort I think it was a catfish actually whatever it was it had a big old sore on its head and it was long and skinny don't think it was a bass though I think it was a catfish hmm. plenty of bait and stuff up in this pocket seen lots of little minnows up here Saw plenty of perch and little bass up along that side over there, but no bites. It's kind of crazy, especially up in this shallow grassy pocket. Definitely expect there to be at least a little guy up here feeding, but nothing. That was nice. Good fish, too. Oh, just barely got him on that back hook, though. <laughs> Come on up here, buddy. There we go. There's a decent fish. Came up from way shallow right there. Oh, don't hook me, buddy. Came up from way, way shallow up in them weeds right there. I'm gonna paddle out here so I don't ruin this whole pocket, hopefully. 
That was cool though. That was a nice bite. Came up from behind and just choom, just took it right under. Barely got him by that back hook, but he definitely wanted it the way that he ate it. Woo woo! Got one. Decent one on the whopper plopper. Alrighty, let's get this fish unhooked and released now. There we go. Alright. There we go. Nice healthy fish. Calm down there, buddy. You're gonna get let go here in just a second. Got a nice little belly on him there. Beautiful. Beautiful little bass sitting way up in that grass over there. Coming up to feed. That was cool. Thank you for playing, buddy. All right. Well, we didn't get skunked. We finally caught a good one out of here. I was saying earlier, I've been here a couple times with my brother from shore, but all we've caught is a bunch of real small ones. So I'm glad I finally got me at least a decent one out of here. You know what? I'm gonna throw this crankbait around a little bit right now. It looks like it's deep enough off this point. Maybe there's some deeper grass out there I can tick with this crankbait. Bunch more than a little teeny tiny shadow. Ooh, and a fish. Nice. Ooh, I was just about to adjust myself with my paddle. <laughs> that little dude came up there and blasted it. I'm gonna back up a little bit here so I don't ruin all this again. Calm down there, buddy. Calm down. Just chill right there for just a second. I was just saying, saw some shad spray away from my bait. I went to adjust myself with the paddle right when that fish blew up on it. That was pretty cool. Again, he definitely wanted it. He came up there and blasted it for his relatively small size. That was pretty cool. Woohoo! Got another one. A lot smaller than that last one, of course, but almost as fun. That's why I love throwing a top water, man. Almost no matter what, you're gonna have a lot of fun. I'll tell you what, I've been fishing down this side just cause that's the side that I started down with the top waters but this is actually the sunny side right now there's a nice pretty nice shadow edge over here but actually want to fish looks like it's deeper over here too looks like it's a straight bluff actually on this side at least for a little bit right there in that pocket that's what it indicates i'm gonna come over here try to fish this shady side See if I can get anything to come out and keep that big old swim bait. Oh yeah, a bunch of grass over here actually. By this part of the bluff. Throw top water over here too a little bit.
Oh yeah, real shady over here. Big, big shade pocket. Bunch of grass up against this bluff right here. This should be good. Oh, golly. There's a bite right there. First cast with the whopper plopper. Might have just been a perch though. Oh no, dang it. Fish hit it when I was tangled in the tree right there. I was actually trying to shake my bait to get it off of the tree limb. Golly, come on, get off of there. Fish hit it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I've switched to a walking type top water now. Just because this side is a little bit deeper. And we've got some more wind, so cause a little bit more of a disturbance and hang over them a little bit more in this deeper water over here little strike king sexy dog is what I'm throwing golly throwing it in the trees right now can't get a cast over here save my life bait just slipped right here like something was chasing it That's actually looking like the better side now to me. Got a bunch of bank grass and stuff over there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna tie on this whopper plopper again actually. Head over to that side now. <laughs> Just a little, little guy, but... <laughs> Pretty good bite from a fish that small. Try and back up here a little bit so I can fish the rest of this flat. This is the grass that I was talking about. Seeing from the other side where I was really expecting to get bit. So I want to give it a really good run here. I don't think this little dude's the only one living up in there. He sure came up and ate it like he meant it. Thank you for playing with me, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. There you go. See you later. Another one. Just a little guy, but another one for the whopper plopper. Oop, jumped and came off right there. Quick release. It's another bite that fits the pattern, though. Another bite on the point of this grass. That's definitely a location we want to key in on, focus on, is these points of the grass. Oh, that was nice. Oh no, golly. Jeez, that fish was fighting hard. That was a nice fish too, and he came off. Dang it. Golly, I just lost a nice one. Dang it, man. That fish hit it pretty darn good, and then he was fighting even harder. Golly. I think that was a really nice fish there, actually. He was fighting way harder than I expected after I set the hook. Dang it, man. I stuck him hard, though, after he bit. Definitely gave him a second to take it down, and I stuck him hard with braid. <laughs> Golly. Cannot believe that fish came off. Ran out towards the middle, and then he was head shaking. I could feel him down there throbbing, and then he just finally threw the bait like he was trying to do. But Golly. I wish he wouldn't have. I wanted to see that one. Dang it, that was a good one there. Oh, come on. Golly. That was a bite. 
It didn't look like it was a real tiny fish either. I thought like it was maybe a decent one. Tons of little minnows up here by this tree. All over the place up in there. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, wow, right at my rod tip, wow, <laughs> that was awesome, that was awesome, I wasn't even looking when that fish hit, <laughs> I went to grab my paddle, like I was doing earlier actually, went to grab my paddle, and that fish absolutely destroyed it right at my rod tip, ripped a big hole there in the corner of his mouth, sorry for doing that to you buddy. That was awesome though. Decent fish. <laughs> Absolutely crushed it right at the boat. That was awesome. That was a pleasant surprise there, buddy. Thank you for playing. <laughs> that was amazing. I thought I was done with that cast. I had literally just a couple of feet of line out. I had to actually punch my button just to have enough line out to lift the fish into the boat. That was crazy. I was grabbing my paddle so that my boat didn't slam into that log. And that fish absolutely destroyed it. Way out here over open water actually, not even around anything really. That fish must have just been following it for a long ways or something, I don't know. Or just shot it from the deep and ate it. Either way, I'm glad he did whatever he did. That was really cool. You know what, I'll go ahead and change up this swim bait I've got on here. I'm gonna cut off that big glide bait. I'm gonna put on a, a booty shaker, a big paddle tail swim bait, probably with a uh, blade on it. Something like a flashy swimmer, but it's a VMC brand. I forgot what they call it, but it's basically a big flashy swimmer. Wow, there's a ton of people here at this lake right now. They showed up at that park big time after we parked. I hope they're not all up inside this cove that I wanted to fish. I had a bunch of this grass where I've been catching fish. Hopefully there's not people all swimming around in that stuff. Yep, there is a ton of people here right now all the way down as far as they can go this fence line right here where these people are at is as far as the park goes there's a sign right there on that fence that says that's the end of the park and there's people all the way to the ends all right well i'm not going to try to fish between these people and all that so i'm actually going to paddle past where we put in Hopefully get around that corner, like I was saying, that pocket over there has got a bunch of that grass that I've been getting bit in, so hopefully there's not people all up inside that pocket where the grass is and I can fish that pretty good. Well, almost done fishing that pocket I was talking about. Came in here, there wasn't a bunch of people swimming, there was a couple people fishing over there in the back, but nobody's swimming over here. Surprised. I haven't got a single bite though. I'm actually not even seeing a lot of bait fish up in this grass right now though either. I wonder if the bait fish over here did move out a little bit or something. Because I'm not really seeing a bunch up in this grass. Oop, 
<laughs> Just a little guy right there at my rod tip again though. That was cool. A little sucker came out of nowhere. Tried to eat the whopper whopper one time and missed it, and then he came and ate it again right at my rod tip. Just a wee little guy though. Well, you can do whatever you want, but for me to finish, I'm gonna go across over there and I'm gonna come along the dam and then down this way, and then I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna fish this whole side probably. That's the whole side we usually fish right there walking if you just wanna fish down that. I'm gonna paddle over to the corner and then come back down this way. I was just gonna go right there to that rocky corner and fish down the riprap, but as I got over here, I realized there's a bunch of that bank grass right over here in this very corner, so I'm gonna come down here and fish down this too. Well, hopefully we didn't do all that work for nothing. Paddled all the way over here from across the lake probably at least a quarter mile probably more like a half mile paddle hopefully it pays off with something here wow nothing along all this bank grass that's crazy seeing plenty of minnows and stuff up in here just haven't seen a single bass not even a little one well Gonna run down the rest of this riprap bank, just tossing this whopper plopper. Just trying to get one more explosion before we leave here. Oop. And there it was, dang it. Not an explosion, but that was a fish. It took it down. Golly. Let him pull it down too. Don't know why I missed him. Man, you know what? I just can't keep going down this bank though without throwing a crankbait at least a little bit along this rip wrap that just seems like a thing to do to get bit right now out on this little bit deeper lip not seeing a bunch of bait fish up here shallow on these rocks so I imagine they're hanging out there a little bit deeper This is crazy. I've cranked down all this riprap for a long, long ways here. Probably close to half a mile, at least a quarter mile. It's got some good, good depth to it, but just can't get a single bite over here for some reason. Not even on this deeper crankbait. Now, well, I can't get bit on a crankbait. I can't get bit on anything down here, so gonna throw that top water all the way back down lock this whopper plopper in my hand until we leave only thing I can get bit on today at all oh golly a bite what happened fish just completely missed it dang it what happened there man first bite I've had in quite a while just completely missed the bait oh no golly another bite dang it I felt him for a second too before I pulled back there I don't know what happened I think he actually knocked it up in the air what in the world oh thought I had an eyeball there for a second <laughs> just a little ball of moss not sure what happened there though fish hit it pretty good might have popped it up in the air actually because I felt a little little bit of tension right when he ate but and when I set the hook, there was nothing there. So I think he might have popped it up in the air. That's what I was feeling was his initial bump on the bait. Well, that's probably going to be my last cast right there. People fishing off this dock. All the people swimming on this bank right here. 
I don't want to be swerving in and out of people trying to fish, so that's probably gonna be my last cast right there. Mm -hmm. 